Earlier, I visited Hunter Valley winemakers Neil McGuigan, Bruce Tyrrell and Andrew Thomas, all fired up to win at this year's Macquarie Group Sydney Royal Wine Show. I love winning. <laughs> <laughs> For them, Judgment Day has arrived and soon their semions will be sipped and swilled in the hope of earning a coveted gold medal or maybe even a trophy. Each class is judged blind by a panel comprising two judges, two associate judges and a panel chair. Ian Riggs, Chairman of Judges at Sydney Royal, is here to tell us what the panels are looking for when judging. Judging is about visual appearance, mm -hmm. it's about the aroma and it's about the palate. As you pick the glass up, you're already trying to ascertain, do you like the colour, is it mm. you know, fitting for that sort of age of the wine? Smell the wine. This one is uh, Pinot Gris. We're looking for that fresh, uh, crunched pear character. And that's sort of typical of, of Pinot Gris. OK, we've looked at it, we've nosed it. How do we taste it? Take a small amount into the mouth. So you're looking for the initial flavour. You're looking for the sort of how it sits on the tongue, the alcohol, the tannin. Mm -hmm. And then spit a small amount out. And then you're still left with residual tiny amount on the back of the tongue. Mm. And that can then give you the the after palate. From Shiraz to Semillon, the judges have made their decision. Tonight, the Macquarie Group Sydney Royal Wine Show will award its coveted trophies and medals to the best wines in the country. The nominated winemakers have donned their tuxedos and fabulous frocks. And even though they may have had a glass to steady the nerves, the awarding of the trophy for best Semillon raises the tension in the room. Congratulations, McGuigan Wines, for the 2007 Bin 9000 Semillon. Come on forward, Neil McGuigan. It's wonderful to win the Semillon Trophy, and of course, coming from the Hunter Valley, really the home of Semillon is just fantastic. It really is a wine style that is unique to Australia. You take that wine around the world, and it will win internationally. We're so proud of our region and so proud of the variety. And you know, Neil, drinking wine is definitely an agricultural act. Absolutely. Thanks, Lindy. I couldn't agree more. Our road to the show continues next time when Lindy catches up with the district designers we met earlier to see how they fared. Also, we get up close to the power and precision of some uncanny axemen and women training for the Woodchop Championships. And we go behind the scenes of one of the show's highlights each year, the Grand Parade. See you all next time on The Road to the Show.